Y'all get ready. Yes, you get oh, ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T. So I wanted to come on here and talk about the whole Azealia Banks situation. So a lot of you guys wanted me to touch on this, but I want to kind of wait to see how it played out. So if you guys don't know, Azealia Banks took the Snapchat yesterday, and she basically posted that she low-key got raped. And then she went into this teary confession about how she got drugged and raped by somebody. This entire situation is really disturbing. I want you guys to go ahead and listen to this audio. Check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. I just feel like so dirty and like stupid right now, you know? And we're just like hanging out and like one thing led to another. <laughs> I just feel really dumb because it's like partially my fault, you know? And I'm just like sitting here like just feeling fucking <laughs> Low as shit. I just feel like a dumbass. Like, such a dummy. I just wanna like fucking disappear right now. I feel really bad. I don't think I'm gonna be putting out more music. Yeah, I don't think I can put out any more music right now. Like, I gotta just like take some time and like f figure out what just happened. Because I really don't even know what the fuck just happened. Honestly, like, I can't even think about shit right fucking now. <sighs> I don't think I can put on music right now. I just feel so, like, ashamed and just stupid and, like, guilty. I don't know what the fuck just happened, but I can't even, like, look at music right now. I'm sorry, I don't want to let anyone down. Someone's coming to pick me up from where I am right now, so I'll be, like, safe at home and shit, but I can't even fucking think about music right now. I'm so like, I, I can't do anything right now, you know? I can't, like, all my plans are just, like, done. They're all fucking done. I can't do shit. I can't do anything now. I'm gonna delete all my accounts because I'm just like embarrassed. I'm gonna delete everything and I guess I'll just come back when I get it together. Oh, I just feel like really broken now. And I'm, you know, just like rebuilding my like self as an artist. And I'm just like, I don't know. I want to like face you. It's crazy. It's fucked up because you know, you know, like really realizing like this rape shit. You know, like men can just prey on you and just fucking like you know badger you, force you to say yes, and it's just like f to the point where you feel like you gave consent but you didn't give shit. You know, you never wanted to do shit, and then there you are, just like feeling fucking like. Powerless. Somebody really just got the fucking best of me. And I'm just like so unsure of how they got it. Here I am, I'm crying in my bed. And I need somebody to come pick me up. If you can like hit up Joan or hit up Matthew or like my manager or whatever. I hit them all, but they haven't picked up their phone. If anyone has a number, just like tell somebody to Like if anyone just like knows any of my people, just please like please bombard their phone and tell somebody to come get me, please. Or just like any of my friends in New York, if you're up right now, like please call my phone and just come get me. Come get me, please. Come get me. All right, so you guys just heard that audio, and like I said, it's just really disturbing. My heart definitely went out to her yesterday, but I didn't want to make a video on it. I wanted to wait to see how it played out. So now this morning, I realized that she deleted that entire video off of her Snapchat. So now this morning, she posted some new information onto Snapchat, and this is what she has to say. 
So Zelia Banks says, it's under control now. My brother and my friends are here. I'm going to be fine. Don't panic, you guys. I love you. I def got drugged in my drink, but I'm waking up again. So that's what Azealia Banks wrote on Snapchat this morning. But like I said, she also deleted those previous snaps. You know, so a lot of people are really conflicted by this. You know, a lot of things bother me with this situation. One, I don't like anybody playing with rape. And I'm not saying that that's what she did. But I am trying to figure out how somebody low-key gets raped. Either you were raped or you were not raped. Another thing, if you can go onto social media, if you can go onto Snapchat and say that somebody drugged and raped you, you can just as well call 911 or go to the police station, get a rape kit. You know what I'm saying? Take it seriously. Like if she really got raped, my heart goes out to her. That's not funny. That's not a joke. But I also don't want this to turn into some, you know, jokey, jokey, it is what it is type situation because there's real women out there who are drugged and who are raped every day and their stories are not believed by people, okay? I feel like Azealia Banks should have went down to the police station, caught the police, got a rape kit done, and pressed whatever charges that she needs to press on the perpetrator, okay? And if she has not done this, then I gotta give her the side eye. What was the point of getting on social media crying and talking about this if you're not gonna pursue it criminally? Rape is wrong, rape is a criminal act, and anybody who has drugged and raped somebody should be in jail, point blank, period. So I don't find this funny if this is a joke or her just looking for attention. That's very, very disturbing to me. I hope it's not a joke. I hope she's not insulting my intelligence, but I gotta give her the side eye when she turns around and deletes all of that information off of Snapchat and then posts some new information talking about her friends and her brother are there with her, but where's the police? She didn't mention anything about the authorities being there. She didn't mention anything about a rape kit. So I just don't know. You know, I don't know how to take this. It just really creeped me out when I first heard it and she was crying. I felt very, very bad for her. But now that I'm not seeing the follow through, I got to give the situation the side eye. And the entire situation is very unfortunate because once again, unfortunately, so many black women and young girls were not taken as seriously when we're told that we're raped and we're told that we're molested. People always give us the side eye or it comes down to the conversation about, you know, well, what did you do? How were you dressed? How were you carrying yourself? You know, so I take this very seriously. I don't want her playing with this. If she was raped, my heart goes out to her. She's in my prayers. I feel bad for her. I want her to pursue the charges. But if it comes out that this was just a game, you know what I'm saying? And she's looking for attention and this didn't happen and she's not pursuing criminal charges, then I got to give her the side eye and I got to call her out on the bullshit, okay? I don't, I don't appreciate people playing with stuff like that because we have real victims of these situations in the real world on a daily basis. So again, to the real victims out there, if you find yourself drugged or something being put into your drink, go to the police. File charges, make sure you get a rape kit, make sure you get a DNA kit. Don't allow people to abuse your body and then you allow them to get away with it. I understand the shame, I understand the second guessing, I understand the, you know, being embarrassed, but you have to find strength within yourself because if you let this go, the same thing can happen to another young woman and that's what you don't want on your heart. You don't want that guilt. Because of the things that Harvey Weinstein did, because some people were so scared to go speak out and press charges, he was able to do this to different women in time and time again for over 20 plus years. And we don't want another situation like this. So if you find yourself in this type of situation, take it seriously, go to the police, file charges, get a rape kit, go through everything you need to go through so that person gets locked away and so it does not happen to another young woman. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing situation concerning Azealia Banks and her claiming that she was raped and then deleting all the messages and then posting a new message on social media today, but not addressing if the police are involved, if she, you know, filed any criminal charges. So it's going to be really interesting to see how all this plays out. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation. All right. Deuce. <laughs> Nikki! 
Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.